going on guys welcome back I know it's kind of been a long time since the last video it would have been like right after the last derby when the Plymouth came in but uh, today is December the 20th and I had a little Christmas present dropped off last night for me paid for by me so it was more of a present to myself but um, this is gonna be a derby car for next year or excuse me a derby truck for next year so we'll get the run with the trucks pretty decent price again I seem to be liking 700 it's what I it's what we paid for this truck um, and as far as so far I've been using it and it's seems to be working pretty good so running okay no major complaints shifts right does what it's supposed to four-wheel drive works which doesn't really matter for a derby but it it's a clean truck, 1998 Dodge 1500 series truck. Not much to it. Pretty simple. It's uh, well, a little bit of rust problem here on the front fender. And the reason it didn't pass inspection is uh, the one of the cab mounts, I think it was the, this side, the driver's side, front cab mount is rotted through. And, uh, the kid was kind of like, it's got 283,000 miles on it. I'm done with it, which it does have 283,000 on it. So, can I blame the kid? No. And this is the second speedometer that was in the truck, so it probably has more than that. But it also has, like, brand new tires. Now, those are coming off for the derby. Obviously, I'm not going to derby those. But I've been using it for work kind of around the place cleaning stuff up and it runs great <laughs> so we'll start her up here for you aftermarket radio that's nice for doing yard work a little bit too quiet of exhaust for me at least at least for me I'm more of a if it's a truck it should be loud person but it will get loud and it'll also get beat up so this winter probably till March or so I'm just kind of gonna keep it around not really gonna start working on it I'm just kind of use it as a work truck beat it maybe use it to help the other two along not not a lot of big plans for this till spring then we're going all out on a build for it so this has the uh, 318 52 in it so also, it's the first year for this interior style for Dodge trucks. 98 was when they changed them. The only thing that was a little questionable about this truck was the fact that it's a regular cab short bed. Which I didn't really know if I liked or not, but... So, I mean, it runs good. It does have some valve tap, but not a lot. I got different wheels for it on the way. I'm going to uh, 95 style Dodge truck, 95 to 97, the chrome, uh, steel chrome wheels. That's my favorite set of Dodge wheels that fits this truck. So I'll put a set of those on it for the Derby. And, um, like I said, the only thing that was a little questionable about this truck is the fact that it was a regular cab short bed. But, I mean, doesn't, I don't really think it's going to affect anything. So, I'm glad it's finally here. I've been waiting about a month and a half for this thing to come. So, and uh, also, if you remember, the, I, I'm not at my usual location, but I'm, this is my actual property. The uh, building I'm usually at is down there right there um, but I was kind of taking the off season off for Derby just kind of enjoying the winter because the Falcons gonna run again so I don't really have any much to do so the guy asked me if I could find a way to keep the cars covered without being in the building so he could use it for his stuff so the Falcons over there covered the Plymouth I don't really care it sits out but then now the truck is going in here which this is an old horse barn that uh, my dad just had some equipment in and stuff 
So, and these two end bays are one big bay, so I talked to him about cleaning it out. So today I spent the day cleaning it out. I got it all cleaned out and got all my tires lined up in the back here, put up a shelf for my paint stuff. And for now, I'm just going to stick the truck in here. This will be its winter hiding place. And um, people would ask, why wouldn't you put the Falcon in it? Because it has no glass. Because the Falcon's already covered and the cover's working and I don't feel like messing with it. So... That's my reasoning behind that. And uh, that's that's pretty much all I got, guys. Just a little simple update here on the new truck. And uh, I'm sure you'll be seeing a lot more of this truck throughout the next year or so as we uh, keep it around and then use it to build. So, all right, guys. That's, that's really all I got. Thanks for watching. Bye.